Hey everybody. Today I'm going to talk about Microsoft's big three operating systems as of today. It's Windows XP, Windows Vista, and Windows 7. Where do they all stand? First I'm going to be talking about Windows Vista and Windows 7. The big operating systems of now. First I'm going to be talking about Windows 7. Of course it's newer than Vista. It replaced Vista. You can't even, it's really pretty much impossible to buy Vista now. Windows 7 has a new graphical interface with new shortcut features like arrow peak and and arrow shake and all that kind of stuff and moving the windows up to the top of the screen where it'll maximize you move it to the right side it'll maximize the right side so on and so forth. Windows 7 also has a new media center interface with it's about the same as Vista but it has some new features like let's say the, the clear QAM support that Vista doesn't have the which clear QAM over cable gives you digital channels, the, your local channels and stuff like that. And usually in high definition, so it's really a good thing to have. And Windows 7 uses up less resources, it runs faster, uses up less memory. Windows 7 is a lightweight operating system that don't have much stuff included with it, but yet that's also a cost at the same time. I'm talking about a few cons about Windows 7. The thing about Windows 7 being light is that they lacked out a few, quite a few features that Vista has. For instance, the photo gallery, the movie maker, and some other things. The Windows Live stuff, I don't like it. The movie maker is too simple. It, it's, it don't have the advanced features of Movie Maker 6. But there is a workaround for movie makers, getting Movie Maker 6 into 7. And the photo gallery, the only thing I like, I like about the photo gallery is, of course, the straightening the photo. That's the only good feature I like about it. Otherwise, the new move, the new photo gallery is just ridiculously slow. And when you come across a video, it can take up to a minute to start responding again. Which is lots of problems for the Windows Live software, in my opinion. I just prefer to use the older stuff. Another thing about Windows 7 lacking this stuff is, let's say for somebody who's on dial-up. Like my grandma in Grey Court, South Carolina, it's the only option you can get. Besides satellite broadband, that's just a ripoff. It can take hours to download that software on a dial-up connection. When the Windows Vista, it's already there. So you you got to figure. Sometimes it's not always good to have to download your software off the internet. And Another combat about Windows 7 is the Explorer tends to hang up every once in a while. Especially when you're doing CPU intensive tasks like video, editing, stuff that really uses the processor up 100%. A lot of times when this happens, the whole Windows 7 GUI will just be like, be weird flashes and stuff going on. It's weird. And I found Windows Vista's Explorer in terms of transferring files over a network to be better. Vista's Explorer wouldn't use up as much resources to transfer big files across a network. While Windows 7 it'll use up your whole CPU and it'll take sometimes up to five times longer to transfer files over a network. When I transfer files using the Windows 7 Explorer it took forever. But if I went into there and used the other computer that had Vista on at the time it wouldn't take no one near as long. So there's a con there about Windows 7. But anyway I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of Vista. The pros are, it includes everything, the photo gallery, the movie maker, all that stuff is all in one. You don't have to go online to Windows Live and download all this extra software. However, there are some, the, uh, the pros of Windows 7 overweigh the pros of Windows Vista by far. Now I'm going to be talking about the cons of Windows Vista. Vista is a resource hog. It takes forever to load. Windows 7 just runs around it in circles. Vista uses your CPU a lot more. It ta it requires a lot of RAM. On the Q computer Tower Lux, Windows 7 runs this absolutely blows Vista away. In which Vista the cons of it is a lot of programs will, will take up more resources like the sidebar that you would find on the side of the screen. You could take that file and, and throw it into Windows 7 it would still take forever to load. 
Which now that's a good thing about Windows 7 is the new gadget thing. I meant to mention that earlier, but anyway. Vista it just wasn't finished. It's like Windows ME, just they released it too early. But that's no reason to down Vista if you have a good system. Like let's say if you have a Vista key laying around and you don't have the money to buy Windows 7, sure, go with Vista. You'll be good to go. Now I'm gonna be talking about the good old Windows XP that we all know and love. XP has been around for so long it came out in October of 2001. I started using XP when I was 11 years old and that was in November 2002. And now it's 2010 so XP has been around for a long time and Microsoft is planning on supporting it all the way till 2014. And of course that's mainly for netbooks and stuff. And it's the good thing about XP is that it is such a lightweight operating system that contains everything you need. The thing about XP is it's getting so old, it's so it's a lot more vulnerable to viruses and spyware and all kind of stuff. Windows Vista and Windows 7 have better security features in the operating system. You want to go out and buy third party software just to get those certain features. Like let's say for instance you have Windows Defender already in Vista and 7. You can get it for XP also but it's, there's all sorts of other different ways that XP is more vulnerable to this kind of stuff. While Windows Vista and 7 are protecting, keeping the doors locked, XP's got its doors open and say, hey, come on in. And I've had to, I've had so many computers I've had to repair XP machines that had spyware and stuff on them. I rarely have to do it to Vista and 7 machines. Here's another, here's another comment about XP. The thing about XP's Explorer is when you run into an error, it gives you less options. Let's say, for instance, you're copying a file from one place to another on an XP machine in a Windows Vista or a Windows 7 machine. Go ahead and say one more thing about the Explorer. In Windows Vista and Windows 7, you have a lot easier navigation features than you do in XP. But the big thing about Windows XP that makes it still available nowadays is it's lightweight. You know, the whole operating system overall is so lightweight. You can you can run it on a Pentium 2, a Pentium actually. On the old Tommy Marcus, on the old Tommy Windows 95 computers with a little bit of extra RAM. You can actually run XP on those. And see Windows XP is such a light operating system. There for a while before Windows 7 came out it was used on netbooks and now Windows 7 Starter has taken over. But the good thing about XP is that CNN is still around and supported by Microsoft. Older systems like this can still be used rather than be thrown in a dump. But there's my big opinions about Windows Vista, Windows 7 and XP. If you have any questions just comment me. Comment the video on YouTube. There I have it.